Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw the lumbosacral plexus, and I'll try to make it as easy as possible. First, you draw 10 lines. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And then we're going to label them T12, L1, Okay, so all lumbar, then you go to the sacrum levels. And we'll just end at S4, because past that it's just the coccygeal plexus. We'll just worry about the lumbosacral. So L4, remember, is the lumbosacral trunk, and nothing crosses over it, but the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus connect to it. Okay, so at T12, we're going to make a little conjunction between T12 and L1 and we're also going to leave a little branch like that. Now from T12 and L1 junction we're going to make a little V okay and then from L2 to L4 we're going to make these little V um, projections. From L4 and L5 and down we're going to connect those to each other like little mountain peaks okay now, when we get down here, between S3 and S2, like these areas right here, we're going to make it a little diamond. There's three of them, okay? These are all nerves, and we'll go over those in just a sec. Um, from this L5 level to L4, we're going to connect that and have a little branch come off. Okay, now this top... These top two from L2 and L3, we're going to connect those and have them be their own nerve branch. And these two bottom ones will connect with this one that's coming up as well. Okay. Now between L2, L1 and L2, you have a little V that we're going to make. Between L3 and L4, we're going to do the same thing. The only difference is we're going to connect L2 to that. From L4, we're going to draw a line down to S3, S4 space, and we're going to connect L5, S1, S2, and S3 to it. And we're going to draw another one, but only to the space between S2 and S3. And we're going to connect S2, S1, and L5. Okay, so let's go through these. This is pretty much the whole plexus right here but we'll go through each nerve. So this first branch right here at T12, that's your subcostal nerve. These are going to be, according to Gray's 40th, um, they're really a variable, but according to the Gray's 40th, T12 and L1 give you the iliohypogastric nerve, and then this one's going to be your ilioinguinal nerve. All right, between so those are both T12 and L1, L1, L2. It's going to be your genetofemoral nerve. Um, L2 to L3, that one's going to be your lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Okay. Between L2 and L4, so all these connections, that's your femoral nerve. This right here, L2 to L4, that's your obturator nerve. All right, now between L4 and S1, because there's that little branch that connects to S1, that is going to be your superior gluteal nerve. Between L5 and S2, that's going to be your inferior gluteal nerve. All right between S1 and S3, that is going to be your posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. And between S2 and S4, that is going to be your pudendal nerve. All right. Um, this longer branch right here is going to be one of your sciatic branches, but this one from L4 to S3 is going to be your tibial component of the sciatic nerve. I just like to write all the 
initials for these, so that's why I'm writing them out like this. Um, between L4 and S2, that's your common femoral branch of the sciatic nerve. And that's pretty much it. So try that out, draw it over and over until you can get it down. Um, and hopefully that helps out. Good luck.